Hello everybody, so we're going to do some mark making with um, coffee. Um, I have got two um, cups of coffee here. One is about three parts water, warm water and one part coffee. And one bit, one's a little bit stronger, this is probably one part coffee to one part water. You don't want it too thick and gloopy, but this one will be darker than this one. If you don't have coffee in the house, then that's absolutely fine. Um, you just need to try and find something that'll stain, so tea would work, making some strong tea, or um, Ribena might work, or food colouring, or anything like that. So if you haven't got any of those things, ask your art teacher, but um, I'm sure you'll find something that'll stain. The other thing you need to do is go and have a look around the house for things that'll make a mark. So I've collected together a teaspoon, a fork, a couple of bits of card that I got out of the recycle bin and cut down to a smaller size, a bit of a sponge that I found under the sink, um, this tiny sieve thing <laughs> that I thought might make some nice marks. I've got a um, cutter, like a biscuit cutter, and I've got a cotton bud. But you can find anything that you think would make a mark. You don't, you don't need this, these exact things. And the last thing I've got is just a um, a saucer because I thought I might need to tip some of the coffee in there to dip my objects in it okay so I've got all those things you need a nice space to work in um, make sure you ask before you use the coffee and ask before you use any of the implements and then finally you're just going to need a piece of white paper if you haven't got any plain white paper and that can just be copy paper then um, you can use a uh, paper um, from an envelope or you can use uh, some lined paper anything will do but if possible a piece of plain white paper but if not uh, don't panic all right so what I'm going to do is just cover this with lots of different marks so I'm going to start off with my fork I'm going to start with my lighter tone of coffee and I'm just going to start making some marks some nice hatched marks with my fork across here Right, and then I think I'll have a go with the cutter. Okay, so there I have got my marks all over my sheet. So I've had a good experiment. I've tried to do lots of different weights of line, lots of different sorts of marks, and um, lots of different uh, sort of types of um, creative mark making. So have a go.